The singleton pattern is used for a wide variety of use cases such as logging, drivers, object caching and thread pool and a lot. We are going to look at a simple demonstration of what it is, when to use it and how to use it with an easy to follow example. In this design pattern series, we are going to explain most popular creational, structural and behavioral design patterns. And for this video, we will go with the singleton design pattern. Subscribe if you think you need to get notified on these upcoming video releases. First of all, let's see how Wikipedia defines the singleton design pattern. We will try to see if the description is understandable. Now the definition goes like this. The wiki says the singleton design pattern is a software design pattern that restricts the instantiation of a class to one object. And this is useful when exactly one object is needed to coordinate actions across the system. Let's take an example and understand what it really means. So you are living in a democratic country and there will be a head of state. He is the president. And there is only one president. How many times you say president, president, president? Here, Mr. President is a singleton. So whenever handling an economic crisis, responding to an unfortunate event, controlling the military, making international policies, all will be eventually signed and approved by a single president who is the authority. Wherever there is an invite to president, we have only one of him. Every time we call him, there is only one of him. So if you apply the same pattern on software classes, you got the singleton pattern. Now let's see some code about how we can create a singleton class. Take a look into this president class. Step 1 is to make this constructor private. Why? Because if we do so, then we can't initialize this class outside. We want this behavior because else, using the new keyword, people will create multiple instances of the president which is against the singleton design pattern. Step 2. We will create a static private field to store a local instance of the president. This is internal to this whole class. And in step 3, we will create a function called getInstance. However, this function will expose outside for them to get an instance. And why this function is static already? Because no new keyword outside, there is no instance outside. Static functions are callable without making an instance. Now in this function, we are checking if a local copy of the president is already instantiated. If yes, we will return that president. If no, then we will create a new president. And then and only we will create a new president. This way, how many number of times we call the get president, we are getting only one president. This is how you can achieve singleton design pattern in any object oriented language. Thank you.